Hello and welcome to Cities Sky. Oh wait, no, no, no. The Universe Sim. What would you do with the power? I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, aka Swifty Spider, aka Architectnin, depending on where you find me. And we are going to play this new game. Now, this game is still in alpha, so we don't have access to the full content yet. Um, they're still developing it. And you might hit a glitch or two, so bear with us on that, guys. Um, don't take this as a final game. It is not a final game. The only reason I have access to this is because I, um, I supported it back when it was still just being uh, uh, a crowdfunded. It was. It is a crowdfunded game through Kickstarter, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've played this game once uh, about two months ago. Um, and they have updated with quite a bit more features. I've never looked at these features, so this is the first time I'm looking at some of the stuff with you guys. But um, let's go ahead and get into it. It's a pretty good uh, loading screen there. You accidentally overload your water supply. Try turning off a few less essential. Oh, I can't read that fast enough. You can press Alt F4 to learn more info about the developer's sense of humor. Oh, we're going to have to try that out. I don't even know what that means. Alt F4. You kind of feel like we're in an ocean, the way these particles are moving on the screen. Okay, here we go, guys. Wake up. Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. Okay, so it says touch. Ooh, touch. And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, Others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. Life. However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. Whoop. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer. To simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. Mother this Planet. Fair sight. For it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder, then, why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born 
and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. My hands? Oh, these guys are so screwed. Oh my goodness. Game over, man. Game over. Okay. Place the epicenter near vital... Oh. Place the epicenter near vital resources to begin your civilization. Okay. So, I click and drag with my left mouse button, and I can uh, just kind of go around the entire map here. And uh, the entire globe. It's kind of a small globe. It's a very small sphere. Uh, you know, I mean... Look at how big those mountains are compared to the radius of the planet. You can call it that. This is almost like... I imagine this is what it's like to be like a small... One of the smaller moons like Enceladus. I don't know. I have no really good concept. But I imagine this is about the same size of Enceladus if not smaller. I mean, this is really tiny on some level. But um, maybe more like a, uh, an asteroid... I think what makes it so odd is I don't think something this small in real life would be this spherical. I think in real life something this small would be much more in a lumpy. But what do I know? I just uh, follow that kind of thing. So um, this looks like a really good place to start because you got access to the sea here, so you can get water. You got some more of the mountains. You got some protection here. Um, but then you got all this nice forest that you can expand out to. Uh, this actually looks like a good place too. So you want some, you want some grassland. So maybe we start like right here, because you can go over. You got some desert there. You got some forest here. You got uh, a little bit of everything going that way. Hmm. Maybe I start like right here, and I have access to kind of both. I think this is where I want to start. Okay, and yeah, so these are resources, right, that you mine. So that's a stone resource. That's like a plant that they can eat. Um, I think that's another plant that they can cultivate. And you know, obviously the trees can be used for building. There's some more plants to. So I think this is a really good location start. So what's this button down here? Okay, now. Uh, find a suitable location to place your imprint center. Your civilization will begin to grow around this point. For a better chance of survival, look for somewhere close to major resources like water, wood, stone, and food. Which I would call that food, probably. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, performing this task blindfolded is not recommended. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a series one day when this game is uh, a little bit more mature, where that's exactly what we do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put it here, and I wonder if can I rotate it around. I can rotate the planet around, but can I... I can also this use the WASD. not to ruin it, will you? I'll try not to, but uh, no promises. Uh, you're the loser who decided to do it. Okay, Q and E uh, rotate the actual object here. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I think we're going to place it right here. Evolution Tower. Are you sure you want to place the Evolution Tower here? Yes. Take a look at your new subject. Nuggets. Now, that's what they call... Nuggets. Well, largely because of their body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece. Adahi and Ailey, the architects of their species. They are the founders of everything that Nuggets will ever know or achieve. The summer sun is excellent for... I'm going to pause this. He's giving me so much information that uh, I, I'm getting overloaded here. A little too much information, so... We got Elu here, and I can always change her name. So uh, let's change her name to um, Swifty Elu. Okay, and 
change his name to Swifty Adahe. Uh, I'm gonna go with something simpler. Yeah. Uh, he's got a blonde hair and a beard. Woo, baby. Okay, so these are your nuggets here. Um, and they have different uh, resources or, or different values that they have for their health and how old they are, how much food they got, how much water they, they have, etc. So, so there's that. Now, this is basically their starting, the starting location, right? So let's take a look at this. Looks like it's just a bunch of rocks tied up and painted on. Nothing special there. Don't forget to build a reservoir before winter comes. Reservoirs store excess water generated by water pumps. When supply is insufficient or completely offline, such as when pumps freeze in winter, reservoirs will keep your civilization running. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, Nuggets report the evolution tower is fully operational. Thank you for that. Now that summer is here, Nuggets can finally swim again. Not that they will, though. There's too much work to do. Okay. So, here we got the news log here. Um, man, I, I played this game before, I swear, but i got to kind of relearn it from scratch here. So, Mother Planet Buildings, um, which right now we don't have, but the one... Um, looks like they're trying to build a stone hut. Oh, look, they're going to build a stone hut right there. So, they decided to do that on their own. I didn't tell them to do that. Uh, they just chose to. So, um, that's fine. And, uh, let's see what else. Um, Mother Planet crime information. Uh, there's crime, okay. Crime is very low, thankfully, because there's only two people. Looks like there's a glitch where it is reversing the tooltip. When I hover over the one, the tooltip for the other one is what shows up. So, I already found our first glitch. Uh, happiness level is medium. Makes sense. We just started. Okay. And uh, every power you use requires creator power points. These will refine slowly over time, so use them wisely. Okay. And then we have opens the creator power menu. So I have wrath, influence, protection, and creation. What's creation do for me? Okay. So, four station. When the planet begins to look less green and a lot more grim, consider planting a few trees of your own. Replace what your civilization uses and this world might survive the nugget infestation after all. And you go to protection here and you get different powers that will build up over time. Rejuvenate. Is a building or nugget looking a little under the weather? Give it a day at the God Spa to restore it back to its useful self. So it's an insta heal. Okay. Influence. It looks like we can do telekinesis. The ability to toss an object and creatures about is a fundamental part of being a god. And Le Cupidon. Why bank on natural selection? Play the role of divine matchmaker. Choose two nuggets, climb inside those odd floating heads of theirs, and make them fall madly in love with each other. So I'm clearly not the genie from Aladdin. I got more power than that. So take that, neener, neener, neener. Okay, and then we got some other stuff that we can do uh, later on as we develop uh, our game. Here we can tell them what to build, so uh, production buildings and adaptation, resource management, resources, expansion, epicenter, and cosmetics. And right now they're all locked. I think we got to uh, build this first hut, so I'm going to go ahead and I think it's, uh, i got to, no, spacebar isn't it. Spacebar makes it to where it follows where my mouse looks. Kind of like a first-person view. So, uh, we'll just P to pause the game. P pauses the and unpauses the game. Okay. So we're gonna watch them. I think build this. All right, you gotta mine this stone. Kind of make it go faster. There we go. And so they're going to cut down the trees, mine the stone, and make them a little house. Oh, and I can choose research. So right now we're researching 
primitive tools. Okay. And then we'll probably go with uh, a water wheel shortly after that. And I'll, I'll go ahead and make a cue here. I'm going to dug well. Uh, I can't even pronounce that word. K-I... Cassoning? Cassoning? I'm going to go with Cassoning. Uh, while the name reads as though it was uttered by a nugget having a seizure, <laughs> the Cassian, the, the Cassian, uh, is a brilliant method of improving structural integrity when digging deep holes. Right now, it's a crude implementation of the system, but it will allow for the construction of your civilization's very first well. Cogs are turning. Okay. I'm le uh, left clicking and dragging to, to move around the the tech tree here. Um, and we might go ahead and get fire. A few discoveries are as important. Uh, unlocks lights in the buildings and primitive tools. Uh, or requires primitive tools. Uh, if it provides the water pump, the water pit, and the water well. Okay. And then we might go to primitive cooking after that, uh, which provides the eatery and nugget hunger is reduced by 5%. All right. So I think that's good there. We'll go ahead and close out that and just watch our nuggets for a little bit. So oh, uh, as you hover over, over, it shows you a little progress thing on the building that they're doing. So it's about halfway done. Uh, it requires so much wood and stone, and they obviously have that. And with that last tree going down, it looks like they're starting to really get things moving. Uh, and they're both working pretty hard, harder than I would want to work. Um, oh, look, there's a little animal there. That's a wolf. Oh, man. You gotta be careful about those guys. I bet you those will uh, ding, ding. Another eat my guys. Coming through. The stone hut is able to stand up on its own. Now, where'd it go? Where is it? Where is it? Is that it? That's it. Okay. Uh, Swifty Elu discovered basic axles while drawing rude imaginary imagery on a rock. Imaginary. Shut up, man. I can read. I swear. Okay. So, we got the stone hut, and those are the two people living in it. And, uh... It's got so much health it will diminish over time. Um, so you need to maintenance your buildings. And it looks like they're continuing to cut things down. They're going to do things on their own. Uh, if you do nothing, they're still going to live their lives. Uh, you are the god, so you have influence and you have special abilities. But uh, they are individuals and they will do their own thing given the opportunity. Now, I'm going to press... P here for pause. And let's see, do we have any buildings yet? It looks like we had one there. Okay, so we got a water pit and a water pump. So let's go ahead and build the water pump here. Do I need to click and drag it or what do I need to do? Come on, I want a water pump. Click and nothing happens. Come on. What's going on? Uh, I guess uh, I can't have a water pump yet. Up, oh, I guess I just need to do it when it wasn't paused. Oh, I hit my, my mouse wheel instead of my l right mouse button. But, um, you know, we'll do a water pump right here. Okay. And then. A water pit when it comes to providing civilization a source of fresh water. Nothing fancy about what this uh, effectively a large puddle. However, the invention of the water pit will hopefully lead to deeper research in the future. So I'm not going to build that quite yet because I think we'll just go straight to um, to a well once this is built. Okay. So here it lists all the residential. Here it lists all the the buildings that we have let's see this lists all my nuggets and I can uh, sort them by last name occupation that sort of thing so nothing much to do right there right now if 
you lose your epicenter, just click that and it'll bring it right on back. Okay. And so they're doing their thing now. So let's zoom in and nuggets uh, are all unique to one another. Is there a way to follow? There are some things that are shared between nuggets. These include the need for certain essentials like food and water, a stable roof over their heads, and an occasional nap. They want to learn, build, discover, and create. It would all be quite inspirational if they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. <laughs> okay. So I wonder if there's a way to follow these guys. I'd love to have a follow function. Well, it kind of gives you a little path of where they're going to go. Is there a way to take this down while I have them selected? That'd be, I think, nice. Oh, I like this research stuff, creator. How about next we make something dangerous and fun? Hmm. You can upgrade on uh, buildings that have a flag attached to them. I don't think I building upgrades. I, I don't know that anything needs upgrade right now because I only have two and a half buildings. But, um, yeah. So let's see. Fire. Research. Okay, this is this research is going by really quickly. So we're already on our last of what I had selected. So maybe um, uh, another reduction of hunger. Uh, cooking time reduced. Hmm. Let's see. Water reservoir. We'll need that before winter. Uh, a toolkit. Uh, might increase by one. Uh, nugget accessories in an engineer's hut. Uh, fishing hut. I think that'll be more important. Uh, and we'll leave that at that. Okay. All right, thank you for that information there. Okay, looks like we're finally getting back to day here. Got a lot of, oh, we've got a bear, man. This is kind of scary. There's a lot of predators around. I hope <laughs> my guys don't start to die. It'd be bad if they were eaten this before they even made their first baby. Advanced for such a young civilization. I mean, sure, it's built out of rocks, wood, and a bit of string, but impressive nonetheless. All right, so uh, a little verbal affirmation there from our, our narrator. And we got a little water wheel here. Doesn't look like it's working. Is it working? It just doesn't need to, I guess, because it's got plenty of water. So what other buildings can we build now? Can do the well. I think we'll build a well over close to where uh, we have everything else here. And I think right about there. What else we got? Oh. An art. <coughs> Excuse me. An archive. History is made each and every day. It would be such a shame for your actions to be forgotten. Considering you do most of the work around here, these buildings are smoke. All right. Well, let's um. Let's have them build this. All right. So let's take a look at our our, our folks here. Uh, no, no. Let's have a look at our folks here. All right, so they're a laborer. I wonder if you can change their occupation. All right, there's a follow function. Okay. So. No education degree. Uh, arrest this nugget. Uh, nugget doesn't believe in you. That's a problem since I am, you know, the Nuggets creator. You should believe in me, buddy. 
primitive cooking research complete. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's happening. All right. This is kind of a PG moment, guys. I'm not going to explain what's going on here if you don't know. Just know that they're having fun, okay? And if you do know, just know that they're having fun, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and make this a, a PG channel, so we're just going to leave that at that. A little baby nugget. Oh, we got two of them. When they're young. Don't get too attached, though. They're still mortal after all. Plus, they they're going, they're going off into the forest. And make questionable life decisions. Let's see how much you like them then. <laughs> Do I look like your secretary? Answer your own messages. Oh, I got a message over here. Okay. Name the newborn nuggets. We are struggling to agree with names for our little Is ones. Is this really what you want to spend your time doing? I'm on it. Can you please help us settle this argument? Love you. All right. All right then. Let's call them something. All right. So we're gonna call her. Oh, I don't know. Fountain top, because of that hairdo. Fountain top. And we'll call him. Ooh, we'll call him uh, Brad. His name is Brad. Silly. I acquired a new believer. Nice. Thank you. You are truly an inspiration. We could have never conceived such an amazing name on our own. Brad and Fountain Top fit them perfectly. They will carry these names for as long as they live, and Nuggets will use them as a benchmark for generations to come. Oh, geez. What have I done? Uh, we are so grateful to have a God who answers our prayers, even when they are as small as this. All right. So... At least in this game, and we're not going to go into anything in real life here, but at least in the game, God really does answer your answer your prayers. Um, though, uh, your God is highly imperfect because it's me. And, oh my God, y'all are, are so screwed. <laughs> Alright, so they're, they're working on things. They're making things happen. It's going pretty quick, too. I think I do have the time uh, sped up. That helps things along. But you know, it's a fun game, right? I mean, uh, so far it's just the, the very basic beginnings. I think I'll be able to get probably five or six episodes out of this before we're, we're done. And uh, at least until they, you know, keep on expanding the game. But here we are. We're constructing our well, and it's, it's going rather well. The well has been completed. Here we go. A water well provide nuggets with clean drinkable water. The closer our well is placed to the natural water source, the faster it will replenish. Nuggets will drink water from the ocean if there are no wells around. There's a high chance of them getting sick because of that. So let's let's try and avoid that, shall we? It looks like it provides twenty water and it's I, I don't know what all this means, so we can Rename it. Okay, so let's do well one. So that we know it's the first well. Because there's so many right now that I might get confused. That bear next to that kid. Oh, that just that just makes me uneasy. I'm an actual parent. And I would be freaking out. Like, just totally flipping out right now. So, I'm hoping these little kids don't get eaten. Hello, hasta melo. So interesting. They got they speak uh, nugget, I guess. All right, we archive. Keep an eye out for flags being raised along buildings. This usually indicates the building requires a new worker, or that it isn't being supplied with water. So it needs a worker here. Uh, this is commonly known as a red flag, even though the flag may not necessarily be red. Okie dokie. All right. All key buildings require nuggets to be assigned to them. So to do so, click. On the building and again on the selection that says assign a nugget. This will allow you to select a nugget from the list. Remember flags are a great indicator that you've either lost a nugget or forgotten to assign one in the first place. Okay. 
All right, thanks to a better understanding of quantum mechanics, Fountaintop discovered vegetable oil extraction, which should prove useful to their cooking oils research. Awesome. Fountaintop, making it happen. Uh, I think... Yeah, this is Brad. He's already got a beard, and he's, uh... He's... He's not a kid anymore. So... Uh, let's pause it real quick. Let's see... Looks like we got a new building to be built, an eatery. Uh, we can go ahead and build that. I'm building these, uh, I think, a little bit quicker than necessary um, because we don't quite have all the people to man everything yet, but I think in the end it will be better. We will be better off for it, uh, having them built. I'm going to put the eatery like over here. Like this. There we go. And uh, is, do we need to build a house? I don't know. Got resource management here. Oh yeah, that's a water pump. Cosmetics. All right. So there's that. Now I'm gonna click on this building and let's assign a nugget. And we'll do Brad. Happy worker. This is basically the archive, by the way, is uh, an in game manifestation of being able to say. <laughs> Thank you. Have questions, but you learn everything in time on your own without bothering me. Okay, so. We'll need to get an engineer going here. Um, but, you know, we can save the game. File name empty. Okay, enter save name. I'm going to say this is our... Um, oh, I don't know. Nuggetville. Nuggetville 001. Let's do 001. Okay. So. Are you really this happy with your civilization? <laughs> okay, let's get some more. Okay, Alt F four. Alt F four. Uh oh, what's happening? It closed the game. <laughs> Well, that is a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, you little punks. That's a good thing I just saved. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next episode, we will uh, see if we can expand our little civilization here. Thanks. Bye.